Lisa Roberry here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a haul day. It's time for my February Scentsy haul and it's pretty massive. I didn't do all this damage myself. <laughs> a lot of my friends were very excited about the sale this month. So with our forces combined, <laughs> we put together a pretty decent size order. So um, I did have to rip into one of the boxes because I needed to deliver some bars already. But um, I do have quite a bit still to share. So um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there is two actual boxes, two of two is what we're gonna start with first. So with that being said, since there are a lot of items in here that are not for me, but they are for customers and for friends, any warmers that are not my personal warmers, I will not be opening, but feel free to go to my Instagram, my Facebook, when they open their warmers and they share pictures with me, I ask if it's okay if I can share those pictures on my social media to share with you. So definitely um, follow up, follow my uh, social media and see those uh, beautiful warmers in person because so much better in person than just like a stock image, let me tell you. So excited for that. So, okay, I've got, I'm gonna have some happy people around here. Oh my goodness. So let's see what we have here. <laughs> quite a few sugar cookies. I know this is for my girlfriend. She had ordered a six pack of all sugar cookie, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six sugar cookies here. I'm going to have a very happy girl on my hands this week. Um, she loves sugar cookies. So you can never go wrong with that. Sugar cookie is a great mixer to have on hand or just enjoy by itself. It's just a really nice sugar cookie scent. It's you get that like bready note of that cookie, that that cookie dough, if you will, rather than in fact, another um, one of the bars that I have in this uh, pack here is vanilla bean buttercream. The difference is vanilla bean buttercream is a much richer vanilla scent so it really does smell like that like thick rich like buttercream frosting on a cupcake it is so rich and so nice but so there are the differences there you've got more of a cookie note more of a rich buttercream scent so if that helps so we've got those we've got some pink bars let's see what we have here We've got some love and happiness. <laughs> I wound up recently kind of discovering how much I love love and happiness and love and happiness is one of the scents that is going to be discontinued. Makes me really sad that I didn't like wind up falling in love with this sooner, but in the like smaller tester, it was just a little too powdery for me. And for this is a powdery scent. Don't get me wrong. It is a powdery scent but it's beautiful. It is a sweet floral that is slightly powdery. So I really love this though. This wound up, one of my friends wound up ordering it. And so like this, any of my friends who are local to me that we are putting together a bulk order together, you better believe I'm sniffing your bars out like you're seeing here today. So, and I appreciate the fact that I'm able to sniff these out because it's a lot easier in full bar form. And it just, it makes me want to try some other things that maybe were not on my radar, which love and happiness was one of them. Um, I just love this so much. It's kind of similar to peony petals in that it's that sweet floral kind of a scent. Um, and Sensi says, I don't even really like telling you what Sensi says because I don't get this from it, but Sensi describes love and happiness as glazed chestnut, vanilla, and sugar cane divine temptation. There's no nutty note to this to me at all. It just smells, it smells like a sweet powdery floral. I really love this though. So I've got a couple of these. I'll have to see if all of the love and happiness is going to be for me or if I'm sharing, we'll see. <laughs> I have a couple more bars here. Uh, Berry of Paradise, which I know is for a girlfriend of mine. This is a very, very sweet fragrance. This is an amazing performer. It definitely throws well. It lasts a long time, but it is very, very sweet. Um, I'm trying to 
to see if I can find the notes on this one. It's just, it is berries that are, it's almost like, it's a strawberry, but it's even more than that. There's like a really sweet vanilla along with strawberries. So, and it's definitely different than, than, than strawberry swirl. This is more of that like sweet berry with vanilla, if that makes sense. Very, very sweet. If you like sweet scents, definitely pick this one up. It's a great performer too. Another one, definitely not for me. It's for uh, one of my girlfriends. She loves really, really sweet scents. That, that berry of paradise is actually for her as well. Bubblegum Blast. <laughs> she she loves bubblegum scents. She's actually really looking forward to in the new catalog, uh, Paradise Punch as well. Like that's like her type of scents. So I know she's going to love this. This is, it just smells, it just smells like bubblegum. So if you love bubblegum or if you've got kiddos that really like the bubblegum scent, this would be a great one for their room. So um, that is Bubblegum Blast. Next. We've got another love and happiness. <laughs> I have a couple, two dazzling pomegranates. This was actually scent of the month for, was it December? I believe it was December. And I love this. This is great for, honestly, the spring and summertime as well because it's more of a fruity scent to me. This is, it's, it's, it's pomegranate but it's almost like a sweet tart raspberry as well. So I think this is going to be really, really great for the springtime as well. So I've got a couple of dazzling pomegranates. Next, got a couple of skinny dipping. If you guys saw my weekly what I was warming video, I kind of went on my whole tangent about how much I love Skinny Dippin'. This is an amazing fragrance for spring and summer months. It's definitely a staple around my house and I just love this so much. It is the perfect spring and summer scent if you like fruity fragrances. This is so nice. It is melon, it's apples, it's almost like a pineapple note in there. It's very like tropical fruity to me. So I love this. Skinny dipping is a must going into the spring and summer months. Okay, a couple of scents. Goodness. Okay, so a couple more. Two more. Love and happiness. <laughs> love and happiness. Um, let's see here. So I picked up a few. Is this all of those? Love and happiness. <laughs> I think that's all for the love and happiness. Can't make any promises. Okay. Um, a couple of scents that are going to be discontinued. I decided to stock up on. I think I've got a couple of friends who have a couple of these as well. But I picked up three cider mills. I am not going to be warming this this time of year. This is the perfect like end of summer, like getting ready for fall fragrance. This is perfect. This smells just like Bath and Body Works pumpkin apple. It's so good. It's, it's apples, it's apples and it's pumpkins. And it's like just that perfect, like fall scent. Oh, I love it. And this is an amazing performer. I have a few bars already, but just on the off chance, since he does not bring this back, it will break my heart, but I've got some, I've got some bars on hand, so I'm good. Um, it's just, oh, it's so good. So this is one of the ones that is going to be discontinued. So if you love Cider Mill, you should probably pick it up because while I think Sensi's going to bring it back, we can never make any promises. And I know I've shared with you my heartbreak stories, <laughs> things that I have, like scents that I have anticipated coming back because they always did when they don't come back, it just breaks my heart. So I'm not letting that happen anymore. So I'm making sure that I have some backups. So that is Cider Mill. Next one is Caramel Vanilla Delight. And this is another one that's going to be discontinued. Another one that I think will come back during the fall and winter months, but you just never know. This is an amazing like caramel vanilla scent. It's just, it's rich caramel, rich vanilla. 
and it's amazing. So it kind of along the same lines as that vanilla bean buttercream, but more of a caramel note. So caramel vanilla delight. Next, I have two sea salt and avocado. Love this scent. This is amazing for the spring and summer months as well. Um, and I know it sounds kind of strange because I mean, who wants their house to smell like a salad per se? but it doesn't smell like a salad. This smells so fresh. It does smell green, but it's so pretty. Like this one definitely took me by surprise when Scentsy released the spring bricks because I was just like, well, I don't, I don't know that I want my house to smell like avocados, but it, it's just so much more than that. Let me tell you what Scentsy says. It's like I said, you get this like green note from it, but it's just so Okay, sea salt and avocado. You do you while pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and creamy avocado keep your spirit in flight. Yeah, so there's just the slightest hint of like a citrusy orange type note, but there is just this clean green kind of a note in there too. So this is really, really great. Definitely if you're someone who just likes clean fragrances. For those of you who like fresh cut grass and flower shop, you may give this one a try. It's nice. I actually like this better than those scents, but it's all kind of along the same lines where it's just like kind of a clean green fragrance. So uh, that's sea salt and avocado, and I love that. Next, oh my gosh, I have another love and happiness. Love and happiness. I think I'm going to be set between my peony petals and my love and happiness. I think I'm going to be set. Uh, another caramel vanilla delight. Another skinny dipping. Looks like we're stocking up on our favorites around here. Oh, oh, there's another bar in here. Okay. Keep this stuff organized. Okay. We've got lucky and love. And I know this is for my friend who loves those sweet fragrances. This is pretty much a dupe for Victoria's Secret Love Spell. So if you like that scent, you're gonna love this. It smells just like that. That's all I can smell with that. So let me tell you what Scentsy says. It's a very sweet fragrance. Um, if you are not familiar with Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Scentsy says, sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with hints of peaches and berries. Yeah, it's a sweet, I do get the peach from there. That's what brings, that's what makes it so sweet and a little bit different, but it's nice. So if you like peach fragrances, I would maybe pick this one up. It's peaches and berries and just very, a very romantic scent. So that is Lucky in Love. Next is Sweet Pea and Vanilla. I don't remember. I think I may have picked this one up for myself. I'll have to double check my orders, but I think I may have picked this one up for myself just because of my recent like taste change in my fragrances where I am liking more and more of the floral scents. I think I decided to give this one a try. And I like this. It's a, it's a sweet floral. So I think that's why I wanted to give this one a try. I have not actually warmed this one before and Scentsy has had this one around for quite a while. I think even before I was a consultant. Um, I'm trying to find, here we go. Um, but I just was never really into like heavier floral, I shouldn't say heavy floral, but I wasn't into the floral scents as much as I am now. So um, Scentsy says, ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. I like it. It is a sweet floral, so I'm excited to give this one a try, see how the performance is, because once I, once again, this has been around for a while, so, and I know a lot of my friends actually really, really love this scent, and it's a go-to during the spring and summer months, so I'm excited to give this one a try. <clears throat> Next is Luna, which is a staple for a lot of my friends, not necessarily for me, but um, this is a great, this is a great floral. It's not so much a sweet floral, in my opinion, as more of a, is this jasmine that's in here? I think this is jasmine. This is a great bathroom scent, in my opinion. Bathroom or bedroom. Yes, it is jasmine that's in here. So Scentsy says, white florals, jasmine, sweet pea, and freesia, juicy berries, and sandalwood. 
shimmer like moonlight um i don't get any like berries from this because this is not in my opinion a sweet floral scent this is i definitely get the jasmine i can get this the sweet pea and i do get that sandalwood kind of like just it's not a sweet floral at all so if you like those more true florals is that what i'm trying to say i don't know but this is this is definitely one that a lot of people like i don't know that i've met many people that don't like this um it tends to be a little bit too much for me personally but when i do have it i'll um, enjoy it in like the bathroom laundry room that sort of a setting so and last but not least for this box is two coconut lemongrass um, and this is for a friend of mine who really likes just clean fragrances. If you love clean fragrances, I would give this one a try because this is a great lemon scent that is strong and it's perfect for summer. It's, it's different than lemon verbena because you've got that like coconut type note in there, but oh man, it's so good. And it, it does slightly smell like furniture cleaner but I really like it and it's definitely clean and this one is a strong one for sure so if you're looking for a really great performer in a clean fragrance coconut lemongrass is going to be the scent for you um since he says creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemongrass I don't really get like any creaminess from it it just from the coconut it's just coconut and like zesty lemon so it's really good so that is the coconut lemongrass. Okay, I am going to break this video right here before we jump into the big box. Okay guys, welcome back. So some time has actually passed since the first part of this video. I was actually recording the second part of this video and I was doing the unboxing, sharing warmers and things and my power went out. <laughs> so it's kind of crucial to have power when you are sharing warmers. So I had to kind of ditch that recording and now it's no longer an unboxing but that's okay because i'm going to share with you still what i got in this haul so the one random kind of thing here is a scentsy tablecloth <laughs> so for those of you who are consultants and um, you have party orders that you're putting in there's something i always like to remind you guys if you need something from the Scentsy Family Store, a lot of things you can actually add to existing party orders so you can save on shipping. If you need testers, if you need catalogs, if you need tablecloths, you can actually add that to existing party orders and you don't have to pay shipping. So um, things that you have to personalize like business cards and stickers and things like that, you can't add, but a lot of the things you actually can. So there's a little tip for you guys if you need anything from the Scentsy Family Store definitely try to add it to an existing party order. So I got that. So I'm happy about that. I actually have a, an event coming up this coming weekend. So I'll have that for that. So that's awesome. Another little item that I got here was an oil. This is actually for my mom. It is the oil calm for her diffuser. It is ginger, petite grain, lemongrass, and vetiver. This is actually really, really good. It is a really strong oil. Um, and I really like this. So she actually went through her entire bottle. So I got her back up. So there's that. So like I had mentioned before, a lot of these warmers are not mine. They're actually orders for my friends. So because they're not my personal warmers, I am not going to open them because they're not mine. Some of these I do have personally. So I can share them with you on my social media, on Instagram, on Facebook. If you're in my VIP group on Facebook, um, some of these you will have already seen in there. Um, otherwise, if I don't have these warmers on hand for you to see um, a, a better picture of, when my friends get these warmers, I like to ask them to share a picture of it when it's all set up. So, and if it's okay with them, then I will share it with you guys uh, via Instagram, Facebook, that sort of thing. So definitely follow me on my social media so you can get better pictures of these items. But so, uh, for one of my friends, she went with the cranberry glass warmer. This is a mini warmer. This is great as like a nightlight. These are great for bathrooms, offices, or small, um, just smaller areas. And the base that comes with this is actually a base that plugs directly into the wall and it has a little switch on the front. 
but the beautiful thing is you if you want to use it like that you can my friend actually went ahead and purchased the tabletop base to go along with this so she is actually going to enjoy this tabletop so instead of having it plugged directly into the wall it is going to screw into this tabletop base that you purchase separately from your mini um, your mini warmers um, and it can sit on any tabletop which is amazing so if you didn't see that video i did a full detailed video and i will link that down below so go ahead and check that out there are two different types of tabletop bases because there are two different types of mini warmers you have your glass mini warmers which is actually what the cranberry glass is i have this warmer if you are in my vip group you have seen this warmer a few times um, same with instagram so um, i'll post that there as well beautiful warmer but um the cranberry is a glass warmer so it has threads on the bottom of the dish i guess we'll call it um so it actually screws into any base where our ceramic mini warmers actually have these little notches so it secures in by just twisting it instead of actually screwing in if that makes sense but like i said check out that video i do a full um video with all the details on that. So she went ahead and got the tabletop base for her glass mini warmer. Okay, next is the prairie pitcher. This is super cute and I'm definitely gonna be asking for a picture of this from my friend when she has this set up because I think this is gonna be really cute. It's actually a smaller box than I was anticipating. Um, this is a 25 watt warmer so it's, it does take a light bulb, it's not an element warmer. Um, and it looks like a little pitcher. So that's super cute to go in the kitchen or if you just, if you have a country theme in your house, I think that's really super cute. Um, so I'll definitely be asking for a picture of this when it's all set up, but that's really, really cute. That is the prairie pitcher. And next is the passport warmer that a friend of mine ordered. And this is, this has little stamps on there and it's, so that's cute. Um, I actually got this for my aunt and um, we got that for her for her birthday and I know she really likes it. So um, I hope my friend really likes her passport warmer. So that's cute. That's perfect for people who travel a lot. Next is the Darling Warmer. And this is, uh, once again, for I only have, so two, these next two warmers are for friends of mine and then I've got three warmers that I got for myself. So. Uh, the Darling Warmer, which actually comes with two pieces. So it comes, this is very similar to the Entwine Warmer, where it has this like outer shell, and then inside there's a sleeve, a colored sleeve, and then the dish. So the Darling, you have a couple of options. So you have the outer warmer part, and then this sleeve that goes inside, and you have a choice of either blue or there's a pink insert as well my friend decided to go with the blue insert so um and it comes with a blue dish as well so i'm excited to see that all lit up in her house and then next is the star dance warmer you guys definitely saw a video of that if you've been with me for a little while it's actually in the background right behind me it's actually a warmer if you can see it has stars that actually dance around when it's turned on so if you didn't see that video i will link that one down below that was actually the warmer of the month for was that last month that was just last month oh my gosh it seems like so long ago but yeah so star dance was the warmer of the month for january um, and it's actually coming in the new starter kits when people join sensi but my friend was definitely all over this she loves rose gold and it's got these this like rose gold finish it's absolutely beautiful i do love this warmer um, and it's definitely different where it has the stars that kind of flicker so it's a lot of fun so that's the star dance warmer okay let's get to my warmers so i picked up three um all three of these are not like brand new in any way but they're warmers that i've had my eye on um so let's go ahead and start with this guy so this is the live simply warmer once again this is a really good uh warmer to have if you've got kind of a country theme um this is a is this 25 watts i should have paid attention 25 watts 
what I love about this it is smaller than I was anticipating actually I have to say besides the next one I'm gonna talk about the last one I'm gonna talk about is actually it, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting as well so being that I want to put this in my kitchen I'm glad that it's not as large as I was anticipating this is six inches tall um, so it's not like a beast of a warmer this is is not a warmer that glows it does have these little lights that come around it so your light bulb the light from the light bulb will come through here but it doesn't actually glow the warmer itself does not it is um it's it's opaque it does have kind of a matte finish which i actually really like it is smooth but it has a matte finish um and it's got a nice deep dish here and then it just says live simply on the front this actually does come in a mini warmer as well if you like this style but you want the smaller warmer the the $20 warmer um, that is available in this style as well so I picked that up next I'm gonna unplug that one and plug in our next one here so the next warmer I decided to pick up is the country light warmer and this one is one once again I've had my eye on for a little while here um, it's it's really it's really pretty this is hand-blown glass um, a lot of my friends are in love with this warmer anytime that they purchase this warmer um, they just are so happy when it comes now with that being said <laughs> so mine came and you would have seen had I done my un my full unboxing um, there's some little defects in mine so I am going to contact Sensi and that's the thing about Sensi they are amazing at their quality control so if you ever get a product that is not perfect if it's if there is some kind of a manufacturer defect contact your representative and then they should be able to get it replaced for you if it is a manufacturer defect if you broke it on your own unfortunately you are responsible for that but if it's something that falls on Sensi, they're happy to replace it for you so i have this weird little chip here i don't know if you can see that so it can, it's smooth so it doesn't feel like it's broken but it is something that i feel feel I would it would bother me so I'm I am gonna contact Sensi about that um, but it's totally not a big deal and this bulb came undone for whatever reason and the bulb that this one takes is a 40 watt <laughs> so I'm a big fan of the 40 watt bulbs I've had a few people ask me if I feel like the scent doesn't last as long with the 40 watt warmers but it lasts just as just as long i feel like um i love the heat that it that it puts out um it's i just i love the 40 watt warmers 25 and 40 watt warmers are definitely my favorite uh, but it just it depends on the warmer because any of the 20 watt warmers they're typically smaller warmers so that's why you don't need as much heat this is a larger warmer i mean you can look in comparison to the live simply this is a larger warmer so it is going to require a little bit more heat so there's always a reason behind that so just just know that something else i really love about this is that it's a wood it's a wood uh looking base so um where a lot of our other lampshade warmers it's more of a like cement type looking base where this looks like wood i just i love that i think it's really cute so yeah, I'm excited to share this at my event next weekend. So let me show you what it looks like when it's on. So this is what it looks like when it's on. And it is that, like I said, it's a 40 watt bulb. So it's that Edison bulb. And it's a like tinted green glass. And it's all hand blown. And you've got a nice big dish here. So that's really nice. So that is the country light. And I love that okay i'm gonna unplug this one and then i'm gonna show you the last warmer i got that i'm really excited about that's so pretty so so pretty and this was the one when i was when i was trying to do my unboxing with you guys um i was 
about to light this up and that's when my power went out so that was perfect <laughs> okay so the last warmer I got actually has been around for quite a while um, since I think right about the time that I had become a consultant they came out with our lampshade collection and this was a part of that so I got the amber fluted lampshade warmer it is beautiful just by itself just sitting without it even being on it is a beautiful warmer um, in my home I have a lot of earth tones more browns and tans so I finally decided to just go ahead and get this I love this um, I love the base of this is this beautiful like pedestal it's kind of a bronze finish and then you can see when it's off I'm gonna take this apart here and this is a 25 watt bulb um, so when it's off you have this like tan mirrored glass here and then on the inside it is this rose gold or copper mirrored glass inside and you've got all these speckles that are going to light up when you light up your warmer so this just sits let me just show you so you've got your base here your 25 watt bulb and then you've got your lampshade that'll sit right over top and then with our lampshade warmers a lot of them come with a ring and with this ring this sits on top of the lampshade and in that little inside circle that's where your dish is going to sit so I've got my dish here that you'll put your wax in and this will sit right inside so it just sits just inside so you can't actually see the dish so like I said this is just so pretty when it's not even on but let's check it out when it's on I love this it's so pretty and it's not very bright I was afraid of this being overly bright or I, I don't know this is something I've always just kind of had my eye on but just haven't ever pulled the trigger on it I'm really glad I did this is so pretty it's so elegant and it's totally gonna go perfect in my house so I'm really really happy that I decided to get that so this is the amber fluted shade warmer I love this so okay you guys that is a wrap for February's haul um, I'm so excited that I picked up a couple new warmers um, if and especially at a discount don't forget you guys we have basically a week and a half left of this month which means there's a week and a half left of this sale so warmers are on sale bars are on sale um, basically almost everything unless it's a charitable cause product or if it's something that requires a license those items we can't mark down but basically everything else is on sale so definitely take advantage um, of some items that you've had your eyes on some items that may be retiring or it's just a good excuse to pick up a couple more warmers and bars <laughs> all right you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you are new please subscribe if you have any questions let me know as always my contact information is down below thank you guys so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye guys